Does Lexus have a plan for an autonomous car? I'm not sure if we have a plan for an autonomous car. We have a research project for an autonomous car out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. They have the Trina project and that vehicle, we're already seeing things like this pre-collision come out of that autonomous project. Tell us about the Lexus advanced pre-collision system. When we look at the 2013 LS 460, we can take its advanced pre-collision system and help mitigate collisions by using the millimeter wave radar, the stereo cameras can actually, between the two, detect hard objects and soft objects such as pedestrians. And with the infrared technology, we can also detect pedestrians at night. Will all of this and more be implemented in an Alexis autonomous vehicle? I almost, I almost go the other way, Tony, where we have this autonomous car project, and from that, we're able to get things like this pre-collision system, the active braking, the pedestrian detection, things like lane keeping assist. All of these things are a trickle down where we don't necessarily, at this point, say we're gonna have an autonomous vehicle tomorrow, but what if we had the most excellent co-pilot in the car at all times? So all drivers benefit from where this is going. Yeah, and it's already happened. I mean, if we go way back, things of, you know, autonomous cars starting, go back to things like ABS, traction control, all those things are in an autonomous car to the most advanced stages today of the advanced pre-collision system, being able to detect the vehicles, detect pedestrians at day, at night, moving, all these things are a trickle down from that autonomous projects that we, from the autonomous projects that we have. So like blind spot monitor, uh, rear cross traffic alert, all watered down things from that autonomous project. So we're, we're reaping benefits from these type of, of research projects already. Where they go in the future, I think we're all, we're all anxious to see where that goes. Are Lexus vehicles going to be able to communicate with each other on the road? Not currently here, but in Higashi Fuji, they have a uh, test track that's almost nine acres, and they actually have communication to infrastructure, communication to pedestrian, communication to cars, and they're studying, they have a whole city that they study this type of uh, system with. So we have the Trina Project kind of autonomous vehicle here in Ann Arbor, and then we have the ITS Proving Grounds in Higashi Fuji that, that work on that infrastructure there. So kind of two different projects running a parallel uh, ground. How about vehicles from one brand communicating with another? Um, I don't, I really don't know what Lexus has in store for the future when it comes to that. I mean, there are other systems out there that are car-to-car -car communication, um, infrastructure to car communication, and then just the car looking at its surroundings. So where this all goes, I'm not sure. With accidents becoming more and more rare, how does that affect the car industry as far as things like liability? I think it's all speculation and a lot of that if we go to autonomous cars, there's a lot of buy-in, right? There's, there's social buy-in, the public buy-in, the consumer buy-in. So there's a lot of things that have to happen for that, to go to that direction. So to say what it'll ultimately affect, I'm unaware. Lexus has a good way of approaching the concerns of people who don't want their vehicles monitoring them too much. When we're talking about the autonomous project and the trickle down into the cars, you know, we have the pre-collision, the lane keeping assist, our radar cruise control, um, some referred to as nanny systems. One of the things I wanted to just clear is with all of our systems, there's an on-off switch. So if the driver deems themselves um, better in that situation, they can turn those systems off. But we feel that it's a better to have that co-pilot with you all the time and keep those systems on. What else do we need to know about what Lexus is currently working on regarding driverless cars and safety? I think like with our autonomous car project in Trina, what I, I guess what I'd really want you to know is that from that autonomous vehicle that we have, that research and development project, we're able to trickle those types of technologies, not only from our halo car of the LS, it's starting to go down into other vehicles like the lane keeping assist in the GS and um, pre-collision in, in our cars all the way down to the CT. So we're not just at that high end, we're able to trickle it all down and as next thing you know, we'll have it in all the cars. Thank you.